Hello YouTube, welcome here with Got That Funk. Thanks for joining me. About 20 years ago or so, give or take, I watched a documentary um, talking about uh, ayahuasca and how certain um, people in South America use ayahuasca. Um, they brew it up in like a cauldron. They drink a bowl full of it. And at first they purge, you know, they get sick. They go through what you might call a bad trip for a little while. And then they break through to what they call the spirit realm or the spirit world. And uh, I remember watching it at the time. Now, I am well versed in hallucinating uh, recreationally over the years. And I remember when I was watching it, I was thinking, you know, guys, there's no spirit world. You're just tripping. And uh, I still believe that to be the case. However, um, what I find interesting is that it wasn't just... See, my opinion of when you take any kind of psychedelic drug, uh, if you hallucinate, generally speaking, um, I'm aware of my hallucinations. You know, I don't project a sense of reality on my hallucinations. Um, so it's, it's not like I... Uh, I think what I'm seeing is real. I might think that some of the things I learn through introspection while I'm tripping uh, have a real uh, value in it and, and can impact my life. But uh, as far as the actual things I see, I don't. I don't believe I'm seeing real things. I'm, I, I know my brain is on a drug, and I'm hallucinating. Um, so I want to be clear about that. But this idea of a, a, a spirit world, I, you know. This is common amongst uh, a variety of uh, indigenous peoples around the world that there's some other place that you can go to. Um, and uh, when I've had friends who've uh, taken DMT, for example, and told me that uh, these people pop out of nowhere and, uh, and, and stuff, and I'm just like, well, that's never happened to me, you know. In the past, when I tried DMT, and uh, up until recently, that uh, the last time was uh, 2013. Um, yeah, I had uh, I had beautiful psychedelic experiences, lots of beautiful geometry, and an overwhelming sense of beauty, which uh, is extremely powerful. Um, but I've never seen uh, people popping out of nowhere or gone to some place uh, called the spirit realm. You know, um, and people who have been there tell me that I just haven't broken through yet. Well, last weekend I posted a few videos of um, that exact experience. It was me uh, just dancing while I was tripping on my bed. And um, not all of it is dancing. Some of it is me interacting with uh, these entities because I did break through. I did, it's not just it wasn't just that I was hallucinating in the sense that I was seeing things that weren't there. Um, it seemed that me and my entire room had been transported to another place um, where there are beings, not all of whom are human, um, and they interact with you and some of them speak to you uh, and some of them just like meddle with you in whatever way. Some of them seem to come out of you as well. And uh, quite interestingly for me, uh, sometimes when someone would come out of me, they'd seem to be scrambling trying to get back in. And sometimes they would get back in, and other times they would like float off. And uh, not while it was happening, but after the experience, I reflected. I mean, what if this shit is real? What if there, what if there is, you know, uh, you know, whatever? And have I freed something, or have I have have I um, lost something? It's a hallucination. I know that, right? Um, but once you go there, and 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 the and the, the, the pristine uh, sense that it's actually a place is really really powerful. And that being so, um, I do understand what people mean when uh, when they say there is a spirit world or a spirit realm. But that realm is in here. And what I find interesting about it is whether it's the natives taking ayahuasca or uh, people taking LSD or DMT or any other substance which uh, opens their senses to these types of experiences. 
what I find most interesting is the, is the commonality of this experience that you're not just seeing things that aren't there, but you're going to a place where these things are there. Where is this place? It's obviously in the imagination, like every other hallucination. But I, previous to last weekend, I didn't really think that my imagination was capable of producing the kind of things that I was seeing last weekend. Obviously it is. Um, with uh, that artificial enhancement um, you know and I don't underestimate the power of my own imagination or, or anyone else's but at the same time uh, you know most of what I've seen in the past trip and I can explain in some sort of psychological sense it has some relationship to me in my life whereas uh, what happened to me last weekend was on a completely different level uh, it doesn't relate to anything that I believe about reality and yet somehow it uh, it's kind of shaken my shit up a little bit and made me realize that uh, um, there's an awful lot of aspects to one's own consciousness and personality that you're really not aware of and um, even at my ripe old age uh, could still do with some introspection and um, sort of figuring out so I just want to share this experience with you guys um, the spirit world is real but it's not part of reality. It's part of human consciousness. This is what the, the experience has taught me because if I can have a similar experience to what other people have all over the world, even though we have virtually nothing else in common except for you know, altering our consciousness in a particular way, but you have the common experience. I'm not exactly sure what that says, but I feel like it says something. So there, chew on that. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below. I'll be on The Breakfast Club tomorrow talking about necrophilia, um, which is a topic brought up by JJ Talks for this week's Round Robin discussion. So I hope you're on The Breakfast Club for that tomorrow. And I'll be back here again on this channel very soon. Thanks for watching. Until next time, may all your ups and downs be ups. Oops.